we have come to the third week of the cyber awareness learning since we started a new way of gearing ourselves up in the cybersecurity community. I welcome all feedbacks regards to the channel and how I can better support and change anything to make learning and sharing easier and better for all of us. I've gotten feedback that the first and second slides for the lessons are a bit blur and I fixed the issue. I welcome all feedbacks and I thank you for all the support all this while. And don't forget to subscribe, like, comment and share. Spread the words and love around. We have learned about the core elements of cybersecurity and understand why balancing the key three elements and components is important to the survival of the company. And why balancing such elements is important to individual users like you and me. For today, we will move ahead to understand more about the target audience hackers are looking out for. Having that overall bird eye view on the targeted audience, we can now have an easier understanding about the information hackers want and unmask who is behind the offensive side of the cyber game. After we have an idea of the mastermind that is behind all these attacks, let us dig in to find out the reasons that motivates and move them towards this direction. Why move into a hacker stand and stand on the evil side of the game instead of being the guardian angel of the cyberspace? Now, let us find out the target audience which these attackers are targeting. The biggest attraction will be the government. The government is holding on to millions of information and a lot of them are highly classified as top secret. When we are doing data classifications, top secret information refers to information that is deemed to be of high importance. And if this information is exposed out or leaked out, it will result in serious damage to the country. Hackers are looking for such high important top secret information, which is worth a lot of money if they were to sell it away. All the value of the information is very high. Next on the list will be business and companies. Rival wants to take down their competitors for many reasons. For example, if you know that your competitors will be launching a product soon and you deny their fast server or website server half an hour before the launch, you will create a big impact on the whole business. So if you know your competitors is launching a new product, hacking into their system will allow you to have first-hand information on the new products and their marketing strategy. You'll be able to match the pricing or make out similar products faster than them in the market, affecting the overall market share. The most and top attack during such an attack will be to steal customer information and hoping your sales team will be able to convert these customers into your own. Banking and financial sectors does not need much explanation. This is where the money flows and to where the rich guy data are stored. If the attackers can hack and access this information, they can transfer the billions of dollars up to whichever accounts they want. And the information the bank keeps, you will be able to tell who are the top wealthy men with the bank and you will be able to perform social engineering on them. Or in a way, phone scams and a list of scams to cheat the bank customer money. And also, you will be able to affect the bank reputations. Education industry are something we always miss out, but we need to take serious note about. Education industry also hold research data, and knowing they are a non-profit company, meaning they do not spend much on their cyber defense. Attackers will take such advantage of these situations and hack into their network through phishing emails or any other means. Healthcare is an important highlight now. As you can see in this pandemic, the unsung heroes are all in the healthcare. If I can hack into a system and take their vaccine and other prescriptions, I can also ransom the hospital or the patients. And finally, as I always mention, that your data is what the hackers are looking for and you'll be the one they need. Based on the attack trending and other statistics, I also realized the heavier your regulations and the fine in the industry, 
the more interested the hacker will be out of all the cyber attacks that are happening in the market right now. 43% of the cyber attacks target small businesses and over 75% of the healthcare industry has been affected with malware over the last year. And it's a matter of fact that anyone can be a victim of such an attack. So be cyber aware and be cyber safe to keep yourself out of such an attack. The key questions to a cyber attack will be what do you want from me? And what makes me a victim you like to attack? What information can you get out from data collected from me? The ultimate goal for the hackers will be to gain access to the system and get hold of the admin access. Administrators normally hold on to super user rights, meaning they can access, modify, or give rights to anyone or any data in the company. Once the attacker get hold of such power, they can declare they have took over the system and is holding on to all the company data. As the main administrators, they can also turn off all the protections and change all the policies in the company. Worse, if they change all the rights and block out all the company's users from accessing to the system, in a way, they have declined and denied and stole all the access rights. Next on the list will be personal information of an individual. This information will include credit card information, which the attacker can use to transact or purchase things online. In a way to say, stealing but in the online way. And with personal information, they will be able to conduct social engineering to gain more information from the user or using the user to gain access to certain systems that they want. Canteen contact rosters and other phone directories are also a good way for social engineering. By employing social engineering techniques, the targeted user can be cheated and make use to gain access to other systems. The last two points are related. Both are related to the stealing of companies' information. Some companies will have technology and information, which include both classified and unclassified. While in some company, some will have their sensitive information. Once the attacker is able to get hold of this data, he will be able to make use of this data and sell to your competitors. It can be a technology that is calling for patent or a piece of information or idea which will be able to generate a lot of profit for the company. But once such data is made available in the market, the company will lose its competitive advantage and the chance to make money. It is always good for us to understand and know the party behind who are involved or carry out all these attacks. In the rule of thumb, cyber attacks are happening once every 39 seconds. Have you ever wondered about the motivation they are acting behind such an attack? There are two extreme kinds of hackers that I would like to share. Script kiddies are not considered a hacker. Unfortunately, their actions and their motivations make them the scariest of all. Script kiddies are someone new to hacking and they just want to try or curious about it. They might try to take down the access point or accessing to the system or just try out the things they have learned. But they are not aware of the potential issue to their systems and actions. They might have left a vulnerability in the systems unknowingly and this attracts or invites other intended hackers to come into the systems or they might unintentionally damage the systems. Another kind of hackers which we must be aware of will be hacker bees. This is a special group which they hack to express their form of unhappiness to the society. Or they are trying to promote a political agenda or social change. Most of the time is related to freedom of speech, human rights, of freedom of information movements. Next on the list 
will be the easiest for us to understand their motivation. Why do you want to hack a company? And these hackers will ask you back a simple question. How much do you think the cyberspace will be worth? And when you do your research and you reply then, 6 trillion in the year 2021. Now you will understand why people hack into companies and they play in the cyber game. The motivations will be the money in this context. And most of the time, I also ask myself, how is just 1% of these 6 trillions fall into my pocket? I will also be a happy hacker. Let's get that thinking and let's move on to the next point, cyber espionage. These target sectors will be on government agency and large enterprises. This is a sponsored hacking activities for the development of viruses that observe or destroy data to a target country. This will be a serious and mass kill event. Terrorists and organized crimes are both on bad intentions. Sometimes they are not just after money, but also after someone's lives. They can operate anywhere in the world and can be anyone, making tracking or hitting up on them very tough. Human is the weakest link, and the best person to temper and bring down your system will be someone from your company. And you'll be worse if the person is your main administrator. He or she will have all the super administrator rights, allow him to access, modify, or delete any data. They can also download and extract any data they want. Such an insider attack can come from the logic bomb, where the employee plant malware with logic inside your systems, and the malware will be activated once the logic or the conditions are met. Normally, the trigger event will be like delete the file or send all this file to a targeted destination. Employees can also benefit from this by downloading and storing internal information and selling them to competitors or in the black market. They can destroy the first mover advantage of the company or their trade secret. Lastly, if the employees are not trained, they will be the easy target of blackmail or extortion. So everyone in your company should know and be trained in cybersecurity. Another W we need to know by now will be why they do this. Most of the points in this portion I already shared earlier on. So let's quickly walk through the understanding of why people are doing this. Earlier on, we have shared that the cybercrime market will be worth up to 6 trillion USD by 2021. This is a huge motivation to be in the cybersecurity business. Regardless if you are in the hacking or defending sector, you will be part of this market, just how much you can retrieve out from the pocket. By the end of 2020, the number of connected devices will be 200 billion globally. And with such a big exposure, and we know that the most of these connected devices are not protected mainly due to the cost and the lack of expertise in the market to design such protections. This is a big potential for hacking and a big potential to defense to stop the attack. When we talk about cybersecurity, the dollar and cents concern will come across to everyone's mind. And I've interacted with a lot of people and company. When we talk about cybersecurity, the first thing that comes to their mind will be this is so complex and extremely expensive. Therefore, a lot of companies do not care and will not bother to put out any cybersecurity defense. And more than 77% of the companies do not have a cybersecurity incident response plan, making them the best target for any cyber attacks. The awareness of cybersecurity is lagging in the home market. And that is one of the reasons why I created such a channel and promote cybersecurity awareness and readiness for the world. Cybersecurity in general is not something that you will be able to master in a few days or a few months. This is an ongoing process. That is why when it comes to cybersecurity, a lot of people do not understand this and will just buy things 
off the shelf. For example, when the topic of a firewall is brought onto the business table, they will just buy a cheap off the shelf firewall and turn it on. But they are not aware of the policy to set and how to integrate into their business model and systems. Lagging this will result in dangerous situations and unknowingly create a cyber breach for the company. But to the hacker out there, this is a happy situation for them. Some hackers hack for the sake of reputation. All they wanted is to create a name for themselves or their guild. The main objective is to leave footprint in the system, but do not wish to disturb the system. And some do this to raise their image and reputation. At the same time, ask for a small token for their effort. Getting famous through such a so-called gentleman hacking will expose them to hate hunters and better opportunity in the long run. Big companies and big industry like e-commerce will be coming knocking their door in no time. We have come to the end of today's sharing. Next week, we'll be going through into a more technical understanding of cybersecurity. I'll be going through the four main sources of cybersecurity attacks. They are network attacks, malware distribution attacks, social engineering attacks, and lastly, data theft. We'll find out more about these attacks next week. I hope you find this video useful and interesting. And I hope you also build up your confidence in the cybersecurity community. Cybersecurity is a long journey and the community will be there to help you along the way. Do remember to subscribe, like, comment and share and spread the words around.